Sousa Barrera triggered a subconscious fear of this community that they don't really understand, right? You know, they presumed that Latinos would be sympathetic to their narrative about the Middle East. But that's because they don't understand Latino culture has had a long, complex history with the Middle East. You said something about Hollywood being racist. It is. And Hollywood being uh, not caring about, you know, the, the Latino community. Correct. It does uh, not They care. know the numbers and they know the, the, mar yes. the movie going, the movie going mm -hmm. audience. Is there a particular agenda that, that Latino wants to have, uh, Hollywood wants to have with, with these films? Or no, they want, well, they, they want to control care. Latinos. They want to control mm -hmm. Latinos. You know, perfect example, go back to the issue of, of we talked about on your, on your, uh, on, you know, on video a few weeks ago, uh, the Melissa Barrera, right? Mm -hmm. They're happy to make money off of her on horror films, on screen, whatever. They weren't happy when they couldn't control her mouth. They're still not happy about that, right? Okay. And they, they're still not happy on. that they can't control Jenna Ortega. They're just scared of her. I mean, they, I mean, she was out saying, you know, making political comments, but at least before these events of October, right? She was saying that, but nobody stopped her because they were making money on her and they thought it's just a young kid talking. But now, it, you know, it's there's violence, there's war, there's horrible things happening. So they want to control who says what about that. So I think, you know, there's, I actually think Barrera triggered something. And I, I will tell you this, I'm going to say something that I don't think people could verbalize out loud. It's in their subconscious because I've been doing 23 years now of this industry and all of its racism, its bigotries, its pathologies, and they're all cloaked to themselves. They all think they're they all think they're righteous people. They all think they're progressives and they're, you know, mm -hmm. DEI guy. They all they all think that, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, you talk to them and you realize their own words reveal that they don't actually share these values that they tell themselves they do. So, you know, this whole thing has triggered a fear. Melissa Barrera triggered a subconscious fear of this community that they don't really understand, right? You know, they presumed that Latinos would be sympathetic to their narrative about the Middle East. But that's because they don't understand Latino culture has had a long, complex history with the Middle East. Spain was Muslim for 800 years, right? It is still embedded into the culture. Even you know, if it's a very Catholic culture, it's still mm -hmm. there. The name, Guzman, is Ottoman. That's an Arabic name. These, I mean, it's still there, right? It's within the, the DNA of the culture. And in the last century, uh, Latino cultures felt very empathetic towards Palestinians because they they saw it in their minds. They said, this, sounds, this feels a lot like the conquistadores, right? <laughs> that feels a lot like what's happening. We went through something like this. So that's, but that's not something Hollywood was aware of. They're not even aware of the empathies that this, that this whole area that they want to make money from had for an area that Hollywood has a lot of fear of or detests and has political agendas about, right? They didn't understand those connections. Barrera revealed those connections. The fact that yeah. they had, you know, the fact that so many fans came out in support of her to the point that the rumor is that Skydance tried to uh, reconcile with her. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did, right? Uh, but I'm sure they were shocked by that. And so now I think they're nervous about the Latino market because they don't understand it. They because they don't care about its values, they don't care about its cultures. Remember, these are the people that tried to ram Latin X down everyone's throat for 10 years without any awareness of, of the reaction, without any awareness. Now they're trying to ram Latin E in, right? And they're still no, they're still on it. And you know, like, well, my my Latino assistant, my Latin X assistant, Latin assistant thinks it's great. Well, what are your Latin assistant gonna say to you, boss? She's gonna say, boss, I think that's racist. They're gonna get fired. This entire, you know, all the mm. Latin, Latinx of Hollywood just support it largely because why make waves with the boss? But outside the general community, there is a feeling that this is cultural colonialism. And Hollywood was completely oblivious to this. It's only in the last year begun waking up to maybe this community doesn't like it. And maybe my assistant was just telling me what I wanted to hear, was just shining me, right? Right? They're like, <laughs> and so now if the assistant who was supposed to be angle in to the Latino community is not telling them what's really going on, they don't know this community. And yet it's making the money. So they're scared. That may be the subconscious thing of how they're not properly paying attention to Latino stars in the last few months. It seems to be right around fall that you notice this change in their behavior, right? Right around October, right around Melissa Barrera. Mm. I think they're connected.